All right, if you're using Google Sheets, sometimes you have a table of data, and let's say like uh, this one in the middle, and you wanna move it to the right and put a random column of numbers to the left of it. So I'd probably do that if I was trying to, uh, to say take a random sample of these, right? So you put in random numbers and then you sort by them. We're going to go through how to do that right now and we're going to totally automate it so it would do just the number of rows that you need. So let's dive right in. The first thing that you want to do, so kind of the base of this formula, is a function called rand array, and it will generate an array of random decimals and the number of rows and columns that you specify. Okay, so we're going to do five rows, no columns. So we'll just close this off. So we've already generated five random decimals. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to customize the length of that according to the length of our table. So in this case, well, I'm not even going to count it because you don't need to count it. What we're going to do, we're going to do rand array again, but for the number of rows, we're going to have the spreadsheet count the rows itself. So we're going to do that by saying count A, which is just the number of cells with values in them. And we'll make the range B12 to B17. We will close off the count A, so that's going to return a six. I said I wasn't going to count it, but I did. And that's going to specify six rows to the rand array function. So we'll close that off and hit enter. There we go. So it does the counting for us. And if that's 105 rows, it's going to do that instantly also. And then the next step, if you want these to be integers, uh, what you can do is we're going to use the INT function. So that just takes a number and changes it into an integer or keeps it as an integer depending on what you give it. And we're going to wrap the rand array function inside of that. But there's one more that we need to add because rand array generates an array and the integer function can't take an array. We need to put the array formula function before that. So we'll do array formula, then we'll do enter integer, then we will do rand array. And all of these formulas are available on sheetshelp.com. I put the link in the description, go to that website, and you can also grab a copy of the template with these in it. And this exact template actually, it would be literally it would be a link to this one. So rand array, and then we're gonna do a count A. We lose track here of what we're doing. B22 through B27. So it's counting, it's generating the random numbers. All right, and at this point we will multiply by 100 because that's going to take the decimals and move the decimal 0.2 to the right. So it's going to give us integers that are greater than zero. And now we'll close that off and we're done. We have a column of random integers. Well, we're almost done. We have a column of random integers, but these are volatile functions, right? Or at least rand array is a volatile function, meaning if I come over and I make any change to this spreadsheet, so I'll just put the number one in E22, keep your eye on A22 and down, all of those random numbers change. Every single random number on this spreadsheet changes with any change to the spreadsheet or whenever it's closed and opened again, maybe that's fine. You can leave it if that's okay with what you're doing. But if you don't want that to happen, once you get this array of random numbers, just come over, copy it, and uh, right click, paste special, and paste it as values. So now those are values and not the result of a formula. So that won't change. Now, if you want to sort this by the random numbers, you can, and they will stay in the right order. All right, next up is an interesting video, I think, that talks about the different data types in Google Sheets and how they're formatted and what the relationship is between formatting and data types. Never knew that was a subject, right? But I think it's helpful to learn how spreadsheets work if you understand the different data types, such as an array. It's its own data type. I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching.